there's been a big controversy recently in Australia over a photograph of a woman football player. The photograph portrays the woman in a rather interesting pose. In Australian football, you will find a player kicking a ball, their leg will be behind the air and their other leg will be sort of trailing behind a bit. The overall effect of this photo is that it shows the woman in a bit of an ungainly pose that kind of inadvertently focuses on her groin. And this has elicited uh, quite a reaction, as you can imagine, many ribald comments from uh, males in the community and the subtext is like pretty much along the lines of you know, portraying women's sport at the professional level as being a bit of a joke. This has elicited the predictable level of outrage among feminists and progressivists in the UK as in well, certainly the Anglosphere anyway. Women's participation in sport at the highest levels is being actively prom promoted by progressivists to prove that women are equal to men. In, uh, in the case of the UK, women's football, uh, which is soccer, is being uh, promoted as being on the same level as World Cup, which is, of course, nonsense, with a massive amount of coverage in the media and so on. And, and just by way of digression, I, I occasionally watch a bit of women's AFL football in Australia and for, as a, <laughs> a bit of light entertainment. And of course, the game is held at the Melbourne's premier football venue, full on telecast, prime time, with a football caller, a male football caller. And of course, that kind of interests me as, as we, as the game progresses, because this man is <laughs> trying to take this game seriously. It is seriously at the level of about under 15 boys football. I won't belabor the point about the Australian national soccer team being beaten in an exhibition game by um, under 15 boys soccer team, seven nil, <laughs> I might add. I'm listening to this guy trying to, to, to sound serious. Uh, I don't know whether he takes it seriously, but uh, women's football, you know, in Australia and the UK, is being seriously promoted as on the same level as men and men's sport. I have to mention a related phenomenon, and that is the Paralympics, an Australian sporting official some years ago when manic political correctness wasn't quite so bad as it is now. It was still pretty bad. I don't know if he actually lost his job, but he, he described the Paralympics as a joke or an, embar an embarrassment, I think it was his exact terminology. And he was kind of predictably, absolutely canned and raked over the coals for this. Nobody is going to criticize some guys in wheelchairs bouncing a basketball around a basketball court. Nobody's going to seriously laugh at that. That's good. But it's when you take it and you say, well, we're just going to promote the idea that disabled people in sport are every bit as good as enabled sportsmen. And this is so stupid as to be beyond belief. And they're doing this, and this Paralympics, which follows the real Olympics, is given such high profile. A lot of people swallow this stuff, and oh, Australians win gold medals at the Olympics, and you look at the paper and you think, oh, the Paralympics, right, okay, yeah, sure. And they've, of course, there's the endlessly repeated phenomenon, you know, this charade of sportsmen who are not social scientists, they're not academics, they, they tend to be pretty ordinary people with physical prowess. You get a top-ranking uh, test cricketer calling a, a Pakistani or something like that a black bee, and it, it always follows the same pattern. So you've got this, this highly strung sportsman at the peak of their sporting career and abilities on a knife edge and something happens and he calls a Pakistani cricketer a black bee and there's the predictable outrage and they always apologize <laughs> and why wouldn't you i mean look you know uh, it's the most natural thing in the world to just okay well if i said something that offended you you know i'm sorry you know and of course the left progressivists 
they make a meal of this and this is the whole point of what I'm saying in these videos that you've got to understand the machinations going on there when the cricketer apologizes what the left progressivists are doing is actively promoting the notion that this right-wing idiot has seen the error of his ways and he's apologizing for being so stupid about his right-wing politics and how yeah he did does want to get the blacks off into the concentration camps and gee i'm just really sorry i was so stupid to think that and i i, I really i really realize now how great you know how noble leftist ideology is and you know i really get that now and i apologize for my wrong right-wing views <laughs> and all this stuff is an ideological fantasy but it points to the fact that leftists they want to smoke out people not right-wingers who want to get the blacks off to the concentration camps or something like that which is what the, the, this fantasy that they indulge in but they want to smoke people out to bounce off to bounce their ideological certainties off they're just playing a game that's just straight self-indulgence and it's got nothing to do with the, the actual content of the incident because uh, 95 to 98 percent of the time these incidents have no content there is something somebody says in the heat of a professional sporting contest just blurt something out and there's always the apology and there's always the uh, undercurrent of this person has seen the rightness of left progressivist the left progressivist ideological worldview yeah right and it's the same with the Paralympics and it's the same with professional women in sport this whole edifice of promotion and social engineering it's all designed to smoke out somebody who'll come along and say that this is a joke this is a big joke because they can be the noble leftist crusader for social consciousness compared to this see this right wing idiot and that's all it is they don't care about disabled people in high level sporting contests they don't care about women competing in really high level sport they're just acting out their own personalized fantasy now this brings me to a point that i'm constantly hammering in my videos that i've repeated many times that in the past i used to take leftist ideology seriously even though it was nonsense but i would engage in the fiction that here is something that i will dignify it with a process of analytical criticism or something like that and now in, in, over the recent just recent years <laughs> even recent months leftism is seen to be so idiotic that I, I won't dignify it I won't approach it on that level what I really take seriously is the effect it's having on wider society particularly young people but the point that I'm making is that if I had known back then what I knew now I would approach leftists I would deal with them on a completely different footing because I would look at it for what it really is now back in the 60s I would take arguments leftist arguments seriously my gambit now would be to take some of of course but back then as now the stock in trade of leftist ideologues is personal abuse I mean that, that that's in fact it feeds into what I've been saying in this video that's all well I'm just such a wonderful noble human being and look we found this right winger you know it's uh, and you know don't kid yourself they they love right wingers they love racists they love finding these people because they can bounce off them they can bounce their elevated uh, sense of self-importance off some poor schlepper who you know makes some misstatement if I could have my time over again my opening gambit with some really serious leftist uh, debating point <clears throat> would be hey um, can you just give me your uh, personal abuse now just, just give me a whole tirade you know and then could we then uh, get, get on with a serious discussion <laughs> now I never did that back then 
because being a conservative and being just a reasonable human being, you treated somebody's arguments as at face value. Well, all right, but I'll take, I'll, I will treat with some respect what you're saying, even though what you're saying is nonsense. Now, I would take the politics of the personal, because don't forget that's what they used to say back then, the personal is political. I would take the politics of the person and just serve it up to them. And of course, the knowing that you're onto them, from now on, they will studiously avoid pouring personal abuse on you as in you've discovered what they're up to. And that the last thing they want to do is do something that you want them to do. You're directing them to do because they hate you so much. Back in those times, it would have forced them to actually think about the substance of what they're saying. And what I'm trying to do in these videos is to channel conservative ideological warriors in that direction. You know, just just take it on face value. They don't don't take seriously their criticisms of a uh, cricket player racially abusing somebody. Don't treat that as if that's what's really happening. Treat it for what it is. Just an opportunity for them to grandstand. Don't be fooled into taking the Paralympics seriously. Don't be fooled into taking uh, women professional tennis players seriously. <laughs> Only do that to the extent they deserve it and people don't do that. They pretty much just go along with what they're fed. Yes, professional women's sport is a joke. It is a lot closer to a joke <laughs> than something you should really take seriously. See you next time.